As long as humans have been self-aware, there has been the dream of slowing, stopping, or even reversing the aging process. Modern scientists are actively working to accomplish this in a variety of ways. Unfortunately, the history of scientific achievement has almost always led to unintended consequences. Access to machines and fuel has led to unimaginable wars. Antibiotics has opened the door to new strains of deadly bacteria. Greater mobility and technology is causing a new extinction event on Earth and altering the climate. Progress has always been a double-edged sword, and even if the scientists discover a way of extending life, do you really want to be one of the early adapters trying version 1.0? Unintended consequences are inevitably the result of limited human intelligence. Traditional logic will tell us that there is no way around this problem, and to quote Einstein, we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. Rupert Sheldrake, a Cambridge scientist, had his TED Talk famously banned for challenging prevailing dogmas about science. His presentation quickly went viral since his ideas were eminently reasonable. Sheldrake suggested that science has become closed-minded, making dogmatic assumptions. Among these, that the mind is confined to the brain, that there is no such thing as telepathy, that everything can be explained with matter and mathematics, and that energy healing is not possible, and traditional medicine offers the only viable solutions. Now, I presented a keynote address at the University of Hong Kong and validated Sheldrake on the above four points by simultaneously untwisting the pelvic torsion and occipital torsion of a stage full of people simultaneously in seconds and without touch. Arthur C. Clarke wrote, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. What I did at the University of Hong Kong is an easily learned human skill that is currently being taught around the world as Quantum Touch Level 2. Yet from the outside it looks like magic, but it uses simple skills and techniques that allow us to tap into the body and spiritual intelligence. And in my last 40 years of working with energy medicine, I have not seen unintended consequences or quote, side effects. Quite simply, humans are not smart enough to know how to heal even a tiny paper cut on your finger. How the cells do this is quite beyond our collective comprehension. However, the body intelligence does this healing. And what about aging? As people age, the cells deteriorate due to many factors, such as damage to the DNA, toxicity, infections, inflammation, fibrosis, and so forth. Yet, the energy to accelerate the body's own healing potential, that is, the life force energy, often called chi, ki, or prana, can do this remarkably well with a wisdom that is far beyond our simple human minds. Now, you can think of aging as an expression of entropy that moves from a place of order to disorder. If you build a tower of blocks, and knock them over, they will go to disorder. That is entropy. What do we need to do to put the blocks back? That's the question. Well, you'll clearly need energy, intelligence, and intent. This is the basis of quantum touch. We use the life force energy, the body's own biological and spiritual intelligence to do this, and intent. Healing can be thought of as the opposite of entropy. We're creating order where there was chaos. You can think of it as syntropy or neg entropy. You create order where there was disorder if you can bring sufficient energy in high enough levels and sufficient life force energy and intent to create unprecedented healing. I'd like to introduce the art of youthing, slowing, stopping, and maybe even reversing the aging process. Click on the link below to learn more.